so um, in the first uh, things that we're going to discuss in this uh, session is your situation three that uh, where we stuck last time right so i will i will do the situation three again and then uh, we will uh, we will see that so let me write down first and then uh, i will explain you one by one right so so bank reconciliation statement whatever is the date so So it's a plus and it's a minus sides. So the first thing is a balance. So balance as per cash book. So we know that cash book has a debit balance. So it will be one, zero, two, five, six, eight. All right, this is the first things. Now we, um, so we move on to the first transactions. Right. So let me uh, share with you the assignments. So here is your assignment. Situation three. So the first is first is check issued total one hundred fifteen thousand two hundred and fifty recorded in cash book, but not appeared in bank. Check issued. Check issued means we are making a payments. All right, we are making a payments. If we are making a payments, but check not appeared. So which means we will add it. All right, we will add it. This is the first. Second, check received from customer amount of 75,850 deposited, but properly accounted for in cash book was not credited by bank. So which means bank hasn't received that money. So we will minus. All right, anything is unclear, please let me know. Situation three, check received from the following customer were returned. Means unpaid by the bank we receive but money hasn't come in so in these three checks right these three checks so we will minus all right next so this is uh this this and this right now number seven excise duty debited by bank minus by bank so we will also minus it right. number eight bank charges debited by bank so we will also minus and the last one is charge commission on collection of outstation check by the bank of worth 800 so 800 charge means minus by bank so we will also minus it all right so these are the transactions so now we check our
Okay. So the first one is one one five two five zero. As I explained. Then second transaction. So first one was check issued. All right. Check issued, but not collected. So we will add it. All right. Second one, check deposited but wasn't credited by bank. So not check, not credited by the bank. So which which is seven five eight five zero. Next number three. So three, four, and five. Three, four, and five. So these checks are, so these checks unpaid. So means we did not receive money from the customer on these three checks, right? These three checks. So which is 1,200, 18,500, and 2,000, right? Next, So number six is, uh, number six was uh, something debit by bank, right? So debit by, by bank, right? So bank debit, bank minus. So we will also minus it. Number seven was the same, I guess, something also debited by bank as per your assignments. Right. which is 1,200. And last one is a commission charge by bank. Right. So it's a commission. Commission charged by bank, which is 800. So of course it's a commission, we will minus it. So we will see the balance. So you can check the debit sites, which means plus sites is higher than the minus side. So this one has a, a debit balance, right? Which means bank balance has a credit balance. The balance as per bank. Balance as per per bank, which is 118068. Because this sites, this sites is higher than this side, so of course this side has a balance. Right? So that's balance also given in your question. All right, so that's all about situation three. I don't know where we stuck last time, but I don't find any uh, complicated things in situation three. Maybe we confused last time, I don't know, some reasons. So is it clear situation three now? You have any question regarding situation three? So you can ask now. Balance as per passport need to be credited because balance as per cash book is debited. Yes, so balance as per cash book, which means debit balance, means plus, right? Balance as per pass book, credit balance, which means also plus. So pl both will be plus sides. So which side is it? 
to a site, right? Because this this is not a debit, this is not a credit, all right? You, you can't call it debit and you can't call it credit. It's just a plus and minus. So plus means balance as per cash book or balance as per passbook. Balance as per cash book means debit side. Balance as per passbook means credit side. But both are balance. We have money, right? As per company, my cash book has a debit balance. As per bank, my bank account has a credit balance. So it means we have money. That's the idea. All right. Is it clear? Is there something? Is it okay? Yes. Is it clear? Now move on. Can we move on? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. So now we move on to the uh, question five and six, which is uh, learning outcome uh, four. So that, that was learning outcome three. That was learning outcome three. So learning outcome three was finished even previously. So now learning outcome four. So learning outcome four in the last session, in last lecture, we already done two things. One is a accounts receivable control accounts, All right? And second things that we did it in the last session was reconciliation. I don't remember we did reconciliation. No, we, we didn't do reconciliations, all right? And we did accounts payable collection, sorry. Accounts payable control accounts. Accounts payable control accounts. This is the this is the things that we did it in the last session. Account receivable control and account stable control. Right. So now today's session, we will do reconciliations. Right. So we will do reconciliation. Reconciliations for, of course, account receivable, which we will reconcile account receivable ledger accounts with account receivable control account and accounts payable ledger accounts will be reconciled with accounts payable control accounts, right? So recon reconciliation of accounts payable and reconciliation of uh, account receivable. So repeat, Reconciliations between ledger accounts right, and control accounts. Right. So like this, control accounts. These are control accounts. Same thing here, uh, ledger accounts and control accounts. Right. We we'll start with the um, account receivable reconciliations.
So start with the reconciliations. Reconciliations. Um, reconciliations uh, with sales ledgers. Reconciliations with sales ledger or account receivable uh, ledgers. Right. So I will write here sales ledger. <clears throat> so the first thing is a balance as per uh, sales ledger. Balance as per sales ledger okay. second one is a transpositions error so we error of posting in the wrong uh, ledger so we call it transpositions Error of transpositions, transpositions errors, which is negative 180. 180. So this 180 comes through uh, 2750 minus 25. Seven, six, right? So because of these reasons, we go this way. So this is a a or one, whatever. Second one is an incorrect incorrect costing incorrect costing is e which is E. Incorrect posting will be um, zero because four to seven minus four to seven. So that's the reason of this one. Undercasting error. Casting error, which comes from situation J. All right, it is 70 negative. Of course, we have to minus in order to get to the balance, which is 30,000 something. Next one the discount allowed error. Discounts allowed error which is situation L situation L right. uh, we have to add 800 next one is the incorrect balance listing in correct balance listing which is uh, M forty negative right. so forty is the combination of twenty plus twenty right Next, the duplicate listing. Du 
duplicate listing will be n. Fifteen negative. Yeah. Next is incorrect listing. Incorrect listing. Incorrect listing is O. Which is nine. We will add it. Cash refund. Cash refund cash refund is p seven hundred we will add it so i don't have enough space so i'm writing uh, writing on the top So next is a incorrect invoice. Incorrect invoice. So incorrect invoice uh, is four hundred. Four hundred. We will add it. So. From this balance, which is twenty five thousand nine hundred and fifty six, we minus minus plus minus minus plus plus and plus. So we come up with the balance. We come up with the balance, which is balance as per control accounts. Balance as per Balance as per control accounts. So in the previous session, whatever balance we got it from here, that must be 30,560, right? Yes, 30,560 net balance. So 30,560 is the net balance. And that must be equal to the this balance. This minus all this uh, transaction. 30,560. So balance is equal. So which means balance of these two accounts are equal so which means uh, all the transactions are correct whatever errors we made it we found those errors if we found those errors balance is equal if balance is equal then we move on to trial balance that's we already done it in assignment one. So balance equal, which means no need of suspense accounts. No need of suspense accounts. If balance is, if balance is unequal, all right, 
if balance is unequal and the balance is just a minor difference, all right? Insignificant difference, then we will prepare suspense accounts. In this situation, we don't have to prepare suspense accounts. So make sure you clarify these things in your, uh, in your um, assignments. When you, when you do your assignment, you have to explain to me that why we are not preparing suspense accounts in this situation because the balance between control accounts and the ledger accounts are balanced. Right, so we don't have to prepare. All right, so now we move on to the reconciliations uh, for um, reconciliations for for accounts payable. All right, so reconciliations for uh, purchase ledger. Reconciliation for purchase ledger. So the first thing is um, balance as per purchase ledger. So which is 21,000 and 31 dollars. Next one is the payments to supplier. Payment to supplier, which is situation G, 1800. Okay. Balance incorrectly listed. Which is situation H only eighteen. Another one balance incorrectly listed. Situation I all right, which is one four eight two. Seven four one plus seven four one. Right. So that's come equals to one forty two. 
discounts error discounts error which is situation l situation l uh, 800 next is incorrect listing incorrect listing which is situation o nine next Seventeen, I guess it's cute, which is four hundred. So forty-one thousand thirty-one minus eighteen hundred minus eighteen minus one four eight two plus plus plus, which is equals to the balance of account receivable control accounts. So balance as Per control accounts. So you can see that balance as per ledger, balance as per control account. So whatever we have we have calculated, it's equal, right? It's equal. So eighteen one two two. So that's that was eighteen one two two. Eighteen one two two correct right. so again it's equal all right so no need of suspense account so we don't have to prepare suspense accounts in accounts payable situations as well All right, so um, that's all for your uh, reconciliations. So reconciliation is finished. All right, so before we move on to the uh, outline, if you have any question, so please ask me. If no questions, then we move on to the uh, outline. So any question? So keep in your mind, this is the thing that you have to do in your uh, assignment. So you have to show me accounts control account, I mean, account receivable control and accounts payable control. And then, okay, so you asked me that why um, situation L, which is discounts allowed error 800. So let me show you something. Here, this one. Can you see that? This one. It says that. Are discounts allowed 800 of Wahid had been incorrectly recorded and posted in a book. This was subsequently allowed. A corresponding amount was entered in a discount received column in cash book. Corresponding amount was entered in discounts received column in cash book and posted Wahid accounts in purchase ledger. So how we fix it, uh, what, we what we did, we 
add it 800 yes we have to add it because it's a discount received but we post in purchase ledger purchase ledger means discounts paid all right it's posted in purchase ledger so in order to fix it we will add it instead of receiving right the meaning of discounts allowed means we are giving discounts not not receiving discounts if you receive discounts transaction means discounts allowed All right discounts allowed discounts allowed means we pay not we receive it All right so but what we did we minus from our account receivable instead of we are showing in our purchase ledger account so what we have to do we have to add it back because we cannot minus it from our account receivable we have to add it in i mean we cannot we cannot add in 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 our in our purchase ledger all right in order to fix this transaction we have to add it in the uh in the uh, in the account receivable so by that reason we did it all right it's allowed not the not the receipt so that's why we have to add it back okay so any other questions or we uh, move on to the outline Any questions or we move on? There's something? Please wait for to to review again your okay. your answers. Okay, so so I stop uh, recording. So uh, option one is like we did. We did. All right. We did instead of showing in reconciliation we show in the control account so option two is it's a part of reconciliation only all right it's a part of reconciliation only so which means we remove you remove from control accounts and you add it in your reconciliations all right because it's a single transaction so it's you can remove it so remove 34 from the credit sides of control accounts All right. and and appear in the reconciliations it sounds more like this all right it sounds more like a reconciliation because we did not record it in the in the uh, single ledger accounts because it's a individual account so that's why we are gonna fix it when we are reconciling all right when we are reconciling so you can do or you leave it like this we did it you leave it you don't need to do anything in reconciliation or second option is this. You can do it. All right, so two choices uh, you have. Okay, so any other question? What do what do we have to remove, teacher? Sorry. Uh, you you browse us remove three. I didn't hear what you said.
What do you say? I can't hear you. Okay. So what do you have to remove? So remember last time when we prepare our accounts, receivable control accounts, last session. In last session, if you look at on the credit sides of your account receivable control accounts, credit sides of account receivable control accounts, so you have $34, all right? This is transaction number, transaction letter K, all right? So you have two options. One is you remove it here and you will appear in your reconciliations. The balance will be equals to the account receivable. That's what, that's what I mean. That's what I mean, remove. So remove this $34 from your account receivable control account, which is transaction K. And then you add, but don't forget to add it in your, uh, in your uh, uh, balance. Of your, of your reconciliations. So you can do that or you leave it. It's up to you, it's your choice. You have two options. But why did you add it in the credit side? I mean the sales return or purchase return. Why did 34, you? 34 of sales return. Why we add it here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, why did you add it in the credit side? It's a, it's a goods, goods return. Because I think we should add it. The goods return, the, the money we, we, we receive back, right? No, it's a goods return. Can have the... B accounts has been credit. B accounts has been credit. Goods return got me. Goods return means purchase return, I guess. There's no any B. We don't have any B customer. Let me check if we have any B customer. We don't have any B customer. It's a purchase return. It sounds like a purchase return. Goods return means uh, he returned good. So yes, he's a customer. So if he is a customer, so uh, B accounts. So when we sell the goods, so it was uh, B debit and sales credits, All right? No other entry had been made in the book. The account has been credited. B account has been credited. B account debit. If is then return, that means sales return debit and B accounts credit. B accounts credit. B accounts credit means accounts receivable, accounts credit. Yes, so we are right. Account receivable, account credit. That's what we are doing here. All right? What we are doing here. Account receive, we are preparing account, we are preparing account receivable control accounts, account receivable control accounts. So that's why it will be credit. We are not preparing sales return accounts. If we are preparing sales return accounts, yes, it will be debit. Did you understand what I mean? Okay, okay, 
Yes. Yeah. So that's that's the reason we credit it. Because that the, the journal entry is a sales return debit. All right. And B accounts credit. So B accounts is credit. So what we are doing, this is B, right? Account receiving the B. So B accounts credit. Right? 34. So you have two options. Either you do this way or or this way. Your choice. Yeah. And any other uh, question? Teacher, how about the transaction number five? Um, five. What uh, you talking about reconciliation or control accounts? Um, the reconciliation, the four hundred and twenty-seven dollars uh, received. No, uh, yeah, received from the Spark Limited had been posted to personal account. Yeah. Control accounts, right? No, no, the reconciliation. The transaction letter E in your assignment brief. Four twenty-seven. Okay. E. Four twenty-seven. E. E. Four twenty-seven received from Spark Limited has been had been posted to personal accounts. Okay. Receive from Spark Limited and had been posted to personal accounts on Spark and Compound. Let me check if we have any Spark before. I think we don't have to do any transaction with this. So that's why maybe they like they write it zero. But can you explain for me the, the meaning of this transaction? Okay. This transaction meaning is they also recorded in the personal accounts of Spark. So it means you receive from Spark and we record it in a Spark. That's the meaning of this. Receive from Spark and record it in Spark. If we receive from Spark and record it in Spark, we don't have to make any transaction because we record it right here. We don't have any error. Because if we record it in, okay, let me explain in another way. Uh, It means uh, receive from Spark and record it in Spark. Record it in Spark. So, which means when we are preparing, uh, when we are preparing a uh, Spark T accounts, we call it personal accounts, right? Spark ledgers, right? Spark accounts. We already recorded here. So if we already recorded here, then obviously we also recorded in in control accounts that we are added them all. If both are rec recorded correctly, then we don't have to record in reconciliation. So reconciliation means we record here and here. So that's why it's minus. So we don't have to write anything. Because the purpose of reconciliation, the purpose of reconciliation is to find the error. Find the error either here or here. That's the purpose of reconciliation, whether we made a mistake or not. But you, you can see that received from Spark, recorded in Spark. So there is no any chance of error. So that's why zero, no, no error. No error has been made in relation of this spark 
limited, right? So that's the that's the reason we don't have to do anything in our reconciliation. So that's what that is zero. If we have error, then maybe we plus or we minus depends we we record or we did not record. It. I mean, we, we double recorded or we did not record it. That's the reason of this. All right. So you have two options. One is you write zero or you don't write anything. Better you write zero, so that much more clear that we have already covered this uh, particular transaction. Uh, okay, thanks. So can we move on to outline now? Yes. Did I give you outline for uh, learning outcome three? Right? Do you remember? Did I give you any outline for? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we do outline only for learning outcome four. So, what is
Okay, so uh, first of all, you have to tell me uh, what is control accounts and of course, why we have to prepare it. All right, account receivable control or account stable control, right? Um, and then you have to explain why it is important. So when you explain about control accounts, yes, next one is uh, why it is important to reconcile between control account and ledger accounts and what is the role of suspense accounts what is the role of suspense accounts in this reconciliation so remember these two are uh, theory based you can use some numbers by examples, but you don't have to use your assignments number to explain uh, this uh, one and two, right? So this point three and four is your assignment, right? So three is uh, prepare control accounts, account receivable, accounts payable, the previous sessions, and provide appropriate explanation if it's possible, right? You don't have to go in very details, but if you are providing, that's better but I'm not looking for very detailed explanation, just a minimum information, that's, that's fine. Right? But don't just only give me table and finish. Don't, don't do that. Explanation is important, but I'm not looking forward for detailed explanations, just the ideas, overall ideas for that, 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 that T accounts, T control accounts. Yeah. Number four is a provide reconciliations with, ac ac uh, with accurate explanation. So remember, reconciliation for purchase ledger and sales ledger, right? So, sales ledger, right, and purchase ledger, purchase ledger, and and then you have to explain that do we need to prepare suspense accounts do we need to prepare suspense account all right so you have to tell me why if we don't have to prepare why we don't have to prepare all right so that's your assignments of course calculations the calculations from your assignment that's all for uh, outline for um, assignments, right? So now we have to uh, decide the uh, submission deadline for your uh, assignments. So um, today is 17, so your submission will be first of June. Is it okay? So two weeks from now? Okay. So first of June is your deadline. Okay. So first of June is your submission is your submission I will inform to um, to, to Miss Wong and of course this assignment too you have to submit in the form of hard copy in the in the office you don't have to submit a uh, Assignments to learning management system. Right? So you submit directly to office Miss four. All right So that's that's all for Assignment two. So assignment two is uh, finished and then uh, We don't have Any lecture for it. So no more lecture for uh, financial accounting. How about the other subjects? Have you finished the uh, lectures? For other subjects you finish all classes 
No, we have not finished yet. Is yet. So how many session or lectures are left for the other classes? Some lectures, some classes. Uh, we we do not meet the teacher anymore, but we should stay home to finish the assignment. They get. But you you but the teacher finish all the lectures. In some classes, the fish, the teacher finishes, but um, on the other class, the teachers they still teach it on the class. Yes. On the class, okay. So, but some other online they finished, right? You are the one who conducting online class up to now. So other teachers, they finish online. Yes. Okay. They are starting to meet the students. Okay. All right. So, so any questions or we stop now? But anyway, um, I will go to Thuduk. Uh, to see, uh, I mean, I'll go to the office uh, next uh, next week, means uh, tomorrow onwards, I'm planning to go to uh, university. So uh, if you want to discuss assignments, you can come to the office. But uh, I will send you, if you really want to see me, you send me email. So before I leave my house, so maybe 30 minutes or one hour or two hours before, I will send you email that this time I will be in, in university. If you live close to universities, you can come to discuss assignments to me. All right, but that's not a class, right? It's, it's not official class, just a discussion. Maybe we sit in the office and we discuss about assignments if you have any questions, all right? But please send me email if you want to see me, all right? So send me email and I will, I'm not sure whether tomorrow, I'm planning to go to university tomorrow afternoon uh, but you can send me email that this this time you will be in university because of other subjects. So I will try to come to university during that time if I'm if I'm if I'm free that time, right? So you give me your schedule, your availability. So I will try to arrange because still I need to see Miss Pung regarding assignments. So, so any question? We just need to tell you uh, about the role of suspend account in, this, in the assignment. We don't need to write anything about the contract entry or any kinds of his owner check you. Like, I think last time I explained you something about the, the, the theory about um, everything. Uh, I don't, let me check. I think I explained you. Let me check. I think you have to explain. Yes. Yes, uh, yes, you have to explain about a contra entry. Yes, you have to. Hey, please write to yeah. remember. So, um, when you do the theory parts, then don't forget about a few things like as a contra entry. All right, contra entry then irrecoverable debts or bad debts uh, bad debts um, yes and suspense accounts is all with suspense account but when you explain about suspense accounts so don't forget contra entry bad debts and suspense account. so maybe maybe like here with So with this, so with with all these suspense accounts, you need to explain. It. All right, so so we just have one minute left. If you don't have any questions, so we stop now. Or if you have any question, I will start uh, one more time for you. So no question. So send me email so I will arrange my time to go to office and at the same time I can see you. Oh, okay, thank you. Bye. All right. So we stop here, everyone. Uh, I'll see you uh, next next week if you want to see me in office. All right. So we stop here. I'll see you around.
All right. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.